I was in a group that didn't have a facilitator or We're anything so else. Sorry. You guys did so so we ended up having to uh, fend for ourselves, and we think we did a good job. <laughs> um, Morty became our facilitator. <laughs> Thanks to Emily, we stayed on task and got through all, all the questions. So in terms of what we did well, and actually what you're going to hear, I think, is a lot of repetition of what you've heard from other groups, which perhaps is not surprising. Uh, we feel that uh, we've worked closely with uh, other community organizations, which is very important. Uh, we've become a clearinghouse with other groups, uh, other social, social justice movements. Our Facebook outreach has brought people in and kept people informed. Uh, we pushed our congressional le legislation towards a more progressive agenda uh, early on with uh, rallies and demonstrations. Um, our steering committee uh, has helped uh, other organizations to be involved with us, uh, partly because they themselves belong to other organizations and have helped to reach out. Uh, we got this, this affected individuals together right after the election, which was very important. Um, we've set up break, breakout groups that were educational, especially for people who really hadn't had too much experience uh, with activism. Uh, and we think our, our name itself, Resist Hate Rhode Island, was effective in, re, in having people understand what we're doing and also bringing people in. In terms of what we haven't done well, we need to bring in more diverse groups and individuals. Uh, we need to uh, get more involved, and for people who don't know how to do that, we haven't necessarily always uh, trained them so that they can. Uh, we've been too fragmented. We've gone in too many different directions at once. How do we keep members engaged? We need some basic training, not military training, but basic training nevertheless. Uh, we, our steering group needs to focus on particular issues. Uh, maybe one a month was one suggestion. Uh, maybe determine uh, four or five issues that we as an organization are going to focus on during the year. Uh, we need grassroots groups to give us feedback on dealing with state and local uh, legislators. They've had a lot of experience with this. They can help us out. We need to develop a, a support system for people who would be willing to travel to work on the elections next year. We need to work on a local level to achieve some victories, and that will give us a psychological boost and maybe help us in terms of taking on the long-term uh, national, federal level. We need to find connections between local and national issues. Uh, we have national organizations working here in this state. In some cases, we aren't aware of them. Uh, we need to call these regressive uh, efforts to task and make sure people are, are become aware of them. In terms of what we should be doing, we need to plaster the state with uh, posters and other uh, promotional literature so that they know about us. We need to keep people in every organization connected to this organization, uh, informed about our meetings, our events, our actions through perhaps listservs or uh, other uh, electronic bulletin boards. Uh, and again, we came back to this point that we need to decide what do we, what do we want to focus on, what do we want to push for the year and not try to do everything. Uh, we need more informational workshops, seminars. We need to introduce uh, mem our members to the State House and how it works, uh, to representatives, to senators, uh, so that they can lobby more effectively. And we do need to lobby. We need to campaign. Uh, we need to change the legislature uh, so that it becomes more progressive and we can get our legislation passed. <coughs> Uh, we talked about starting a resist hate pack. We need to leave each of these meetings with tangible action to take. Uh, we need more public actions and rallies to give ourselves, again, a psychological boost 
to let people know that there are issues that we are unhappy about, even if they are ones that we, we don't decide that we're going to uh, focus on uh, in depth. We need to keep an eye on federal actions and we need to find other uh, national groups or other groups in different parts of the country uh, that we can combine with. Other resist hate organizations have no doubt sprung up in other states. Well, let's see if we can join with them. Uh, and I think that was it.